H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Welcome to the videos of H2K Infosys. Uh, in this particular video, we will see the, the concept of your local variables. So along with the concept, uh, we will also see the practical example of a local variable. So let us understand what is a local variable by itself. The first point says that variables which are localized, that means localized means which are defined or declared within the body of a method or a body of a function are called as local variables. Second, it says that local variables cannot be duplicated. That means the local variable names cannot be duplicated within the same method or function body. If we try to have a duplicated local variable name, the compiler will show a syntax error as duplicate local variable. Now, irrespective of whatever data types you are using for a local variable, if the local variable name is same in the same method, compiler will show syntax error as duplicate local variable. So it does not matter whatever data types you are defining for a local variable. The data types can be integer, string, float, etc. But if the variable name is same, within the method body, the compiler is going to show a syntax error as duplicate local variable. Usage of local variables is restricted within the body of the method or function where it is declared. Okay, so the use of the local variable or the power of the local variable is within the body of the method in which it is initialized and the declaration happens. That is why if we have two different methods, two different methods can have the same variable name. And that is what I have written out here. That is why we can have same local variable name, but in different methods. Now, access modifiers are nothing but uh, stuff which are used for the purpose of securing our codes. Now, you can use access modifier for variables, but as far as local variables are concerned, you cannot use access modifiers. I will not discuss what is access modifier in detail that I will discuss when I go to the further topics of the code Java concept. Now, let's understand one particular thing. Local variables cannot be declared with access modifiers. And more access modifiers can be public static, a public or default static or default private static or private protected static or protected now if i want to use public access specifier or default or rather not default if i want to use public access specifier or private access specifier or protected access specifier the keyword remains same as far as default access specifier concerned, we do not have any keywords for that. So if we do, do not define any keyword or we do not define any access specifier, it precisely means that particular stuff is a default uh, stuff by itself. Now, since local variables does not use any access modifiers or specifiers, so we will not discuss about this modifier or specifier in this particular video. But yes, local variables uh, per se cannot have the uh, keywords to be used like static and non-static. You cannot use, that means define a local variable to be static or non-static. Now, as far as knowledge is concerned, for non-static, there is no keyword. For if you want to use static, you have to use the static keyword. But as far as local variables is concerned, you cannot use the keywords called static or non-static. 
last uh, but not the least local variables can have final as the access modifier but if you declare a local variable as final it is compulsory that you initialize the value of that final local variable so that's more than enough to understand the concepts of local variable as far as practical example is concerned for local variables we'll see that so for that i'll open up eclipse and i'll create a new project called as session 19 i'll call this project as session 19 next click on finish and say no inside this particular project the the source file is there inside the source file i'll create the package i'll call this package as local variable only click on finish inside this package right click choose new and choose the option called class i'll call the class file also as local variable for understanding purposes call up the main method click on finish and the first things first we'll go back to the slide and look at the earlier slide that we have so first of all we'll see that look variables which are localized or declared within the body of a method or function are called as local variables so we'll go back to eclipse and define the local variables so local variables are declared or localized within the body of the method now if you see this particular class file this is the class file this is the body of the class file and within the body the main method is declared okay and this is the body of the main method so if i declare a variable within the body of the main method that becomes a local variable so this is a local variable so i'll declare a local variable as an integer type let's say local variable a int a so that means it's a variable a which is a localized variable because it is defined within the body of the method or within the body of the function so whatever variables that we declare within the body of the function or the method is called as a local variable for this particular method so integer a becomes a local variable for this main method and it is compulsory for us that when we declare local variables we have to define the data type for the variable as we have seen earlier now let us create one more function so I'll, let's say let's create a public static function i'll restrict myself to that at this point of time for certain reasons the reasons will be getting cleared when i take up the oops concept so public static void return type let's say and call this an addition function and i define this addition function as a parameter based addition function or a non-parameter based let's say now this is an addition function this is a user defined function this main function is the inbuilt function of your java language now, in this particular variable i declare a variable a again as integer type okay so what happens is out here is that this integer a variable is a localized variable of this particular method because it is declared within the body of the main method whereas this method or this function is independent of the main method and we know that functions are independent so whatever variables we declare within the body of the addition function is considered as a localized variable for the addition function so in this particular example integer a is a localized variable of the addition function now if you look at this particular scenario the variable name is a for the main function similarly the variable name is a for the addition function so even if the variable names are same it does not matter for the compiler and that's why the compiler does not show any syntax error because this is a local variable of this method this is a local variable of this particular method and one more thing as we have discussed the power or the usage of the local variable is within the body of the 
method or function so that the usage of integer a which is a localized variable for the main method remains within the body of the main method similarly the power or the usage of integer a which is a local variable for the addition function remains within the body of the main method and since the main body is ending out here okay i can create a variable name same as it is present in the main method and that is why i can declare a variable local variable a out here for the addition function so let's get back to the powerpoint local variables cannot be duplicated local variable names cannot be dupli duplicated within the same method body or function so let us look at this particular aspect so we've discussed that local variables cannot be du duplicated that means local variable names cannot be duplicated so if i have another variable let's say integer a this is a duplication and if you hover your mouse over the this thing you will see there is a syntax error there is a syntax error duplicate local variables a you can see that and that is coming because the variable name is same you cannot have variable names same within a particular method body now if you have seen out here the main method already has a variable a you are declaring another variable name same that is a out here so it is showing you a syntax error it does not so what i'll do i'll comment this it does not matter whatever is the data data type of this variable a so i declare a variable a as a string type even after declaring the data the type of data which is different this variable a has an integer data type this variable a has a string type okay even if the data types are different the variable names are same the variable names are a so if you hover your mouse it will show you duplicate local variable so that is what i have given out here stating that irrespective of the data types of a local variable if the local variable name is same within the method body compiler will show a syntax error as duplicate local variable now the fourth point says the usage of local variables is restricted within the body of the method which is declared that is why we can have same local variable name but in different method so if you see out here there are two different methods i will comment this before i go forward there are two different methods addition method and main method the integer a is a local variable of the main method so the power of integer a or the usage of integer a is restricted within the method that is your main method since the main method is ending out here the power remains within the body of the main method for this variable a or the usage of this variable a is restricted within the body of the main method okay and because of that region i can define a variable name same as what i have declared for main that is why i can declare integer a again out here within the addition function and it will not show you any syntax error stating that duplicate local variable because this variable is a localized variable for this function this variable is a localized variable for this particular function coming back to the slide access modifiers cannot be used for local variables okay so let us go to the access modifiers part so the access modifiers are i can declare i cannot declare uh, let's say i will declare a variable b right now so let's say i cannot declare this is the keyword for public i can define it as a static and then integer b i cannot declare a local variable with these access specifiers or modifiers see that multiple markers at this like illegal modifier or parameter only final permitted to say similarly i cannot declare let's say a variable c just as public integer c now for this is a static variable but you cannot declare a local variable as static i have not used any keyword out here that means precisely means that i am trying to say it's a non static public local variable which is of integer data type now you do not you cannot use access modifiers that is what i am trying to show you similarly i cannot use 
protected integer d. That means I am trying to say this is an integer d, is a variable d which is of integer data type, which is having the access modifier as protected. I cannot have a local variable which can be defined with this kind of modifier. That is why it is showing you a syntax error again. Similarly, I cannot declare protected static integer e. What I am trying to show is that local variables cannot have access modifiers. And I am showing all the access modifiers out here. Similarly, I cannot have private. So for private, the keyword private is used and you can define it as let's say string this time string f. You cannot have a local variable f which is having this kind of access modifier. It is not to be used for local variables. Similarly, I cannot use private static let's say string g. It is not possible to have access modifier to be used with local variables. Local variables will only have the data type. Okay, now I have not used a default keyword. For default, there is no keyword. I just have to declare it as a string. String h. The precise means a default local variable. But you, if you look at this, I have not used any access specifier. So precisely, there is no keyword for default. That means you can understand that string h is accepted because you have not defined any. Uh, access modifier but as a whole if I tell you default is not allowed or is not a concept to be used with local variables even if it is not showing you any syntax error because default does not have any keyword that does not mean this local variable is a default local variable you cannot have the concept of default for a local variable that's what I'm trying to say then let's say static int i that means it's a variable i variable i is of integer data type and it is a default static local variable you cannot have an access specifier or modifier stating that it is default static that is why it is showing you a syntax error again the same lies true for this particular function also so let's say i actually you know copy this and paste it out here, the same kind of syntax error will be shown. Illegal modifier for the parameter because, you know, we cannot use access modifiers for local variables and all these A, B, C, D, E, F, all these are local variables. But yes, I can use, let's go to the slide again. So this is what we have seen. Local variables cannot be static or non-static. We have seen that also. Now, local variables can be final. We can use this particular access modifier. But for final, we need to define, it is compulsory to define or initialize this value. So I'll go back to the Eclipse. So I can define a variable, local variable, let's say, which is of, let's say, integer type, integer j, with the final access modifier. And as I have told you, it is compulsory that we need to uh, initialize this particular type of vari local variable. If I do not initialize this final local variable g, I just put a terminator sign, it will basically accepting it. Okay. I can also put like this final, let's say int k is equal to 10. Now, why it is not showing a syntax error? Because of the reason that there are syntax error above. So, I will comment these by a block comment, control shift forward slash. Still, the syntax error and the value of the local variable j is not used. So, if you look at, there is a warning out here. You have not used the variable j, local variable j, which is final into nature. Okay. Let's say I declare this local variable k. So that means uh, 
you can declare a local variable with the final as we have discussed and uh, we can also we may initialize it we may not initialize it it's fine the compiler will accept it okay now if we try to let's say i declare a variable k which is a final with 10 now i try to change this value of k let's say i make it to 20 this will not be accepted because the final local variable cannot be assigned it must be blank and not being not using a compound assignment that means it is trying to say that once you have declared a variable as final and declared its value this value cannot be changed if i move this final keyword then i can change the value of k and no syntax error will come but the moment i declare this variable as final and initialize its value i cannot change the value of the variable k now because this kind of syntax error will be shown so that is the reason once you define or initialize the value of a variable or rather a local variable with final you are not allowed to change the value of that final local variable the moment you do that you're going to have this kind of syntax error final local variable k cannot be assigned it must be blank and not using a compound assignment so ensure that once you declare the value of a variable and that local variable is a final local variable you cannot change the value it will show you a syntax error similarly this can be also used in this particular function these are local variables for this particular function this does not show any syntax error obviously this also does not show any syntax error and this also the it it should show a syntax error why is the syntax error not been shown because i need to comment these lines which shows you a syntax error the moment i comment it you will see that this particular line shows a syntax error because this is a local variable k for this particular addition function and you have defined it with final keyword once you have defined initialized its value you cannot re reinitialize a local variable k which is as nothing but a final local variable okay so that's about local variables out here so thanks for watching the video if you have any questions please revert to us